Hi, my name is Marian Wouters and I'm a student at the Technical University of Delft. In this short video pitch, which I taped in Kenya, I'll present the technological innovation which will change the aerospace sector as a whole in the coming decades. The way I see it, there are two main problems facing the aerospace sector nowadays. The first one is relating to fuel use. We use kerosene at the moment. Kerosene is of course highly unsustainable and next to that is very scarce. The second problem is in space system deployment. Deploying space systems, such as satellites, is very expensive, and this has to do with two reasons. First of all, the, the vehicles we use nowadays are non-reusable, and secondly, they are very heavy because uh, they need to carry all their fuel on board. I believe that we, if we do not change something in the aerospace sector, uh, it will stagnate within the coming decades due to fuel shortages and high expenses. I believe this change can stem from the prequel jet engine design. A Pico jet engine works just like a normal jet engine, save for two differences. The first difference originates in the use of hydrogen as a fuel source. And the second comes from the pre-cooler installation. The pre-cooler is installed just before the compressor stage and cools the incoming air to, minus, uh, to 140 Kelvin. Uh, it does that using hydrogen uh, which is stored cryogenically and later used for fuel. Because the air is so cold, the compression ratio in the compressor can be much higher. Well, uh, these two uh, factors combined, so the uh, use of hydrogen as a fuel and higher compression ratios, result in a much jet engine design overall. First of all, the high compression ratios uh, result in an efficiency increase of nearly 10%. Secondly, the use of hydrogen makes the, uh, the engine much more sustainable. Thirdly, uh, the uh, cruising altitude is increased to 26 kilometers. And finally, uh, the velocity range of the pre cooled jet engine is much higher. A pre jet engine can operate efficiently from 0 meters per second to Mach 5, which is highly supersonic. Of course, all the advantages I just mentioned are very beneficial to the aviation industry, but they also provide options in the space system deployment sector. Uh, they enable the development uh, of a single stage to orbit vehicle. Single stage to orbit vehicles using pre jet engines can take off, go to cruising altitude, and increase their velocity to Mach 5. At that point, they will initiate a rocket boost to space. Well, this has two advantages. Uh, space system deployment vehicles become much lighter because they can carry, uh, they use uh, air breathing engines and don't need to carry oxygen. And secondly, they become reusable because they can glide back to Earth afterwards. I believe the Preco jet engine is the answer to all the problems in the aerospace sector nowadays. Because it's being developed at the moment and prototypes are even being built, uh, it will be uh, readily available well before 2040 and with all its advantages in both uh, sustainability and efficiency, it will improve both the aviation industry and uh, the space system deployment sector. I therefore believe that the Pico jet engine design will change the aerospace sector as a whole within the coming decades.